This Super Nintendo that I bought back in 1994 has been sitting in my parents' basement for 20 years. Does it still work? Let's find out. Hey, welcome to my channel, hope you're doing well. Just a quick disclosure, this is not a paid promotion video. However, if you are interested in supporting my channel, you can check out my blog website, guitarsandtech.com, that I created using Squarespace. If you are looking at starting a website and you don't have any knowledge with creating a website, Squarespace is a great place to start. It's really easy to use and I highly recommend it. That being said, let's talk about this Super Nintendo. I vividly remember buying this Super Nintendo back in 1994 and my ultimate plan was to get Mortal Kombat 2 which was being released in the fall and I was 15 years old. When Mortal Kombat 2 did finally come out, I remember getting the cartridge, it was like $100. Convert that to the value today, we're talking like $150. It was crazy, the prices back then. And I played the hell out of that game. To date, that's probably the most I've ever played a game. I knew every move, every character, that game was my favorite game of all time. So I bought this Super Nintendo in a Zellers in Toronto, Canada. And most people don't know what Zellers means. If you're in the States, JCPenney, something like that. So this isn't something that I picked up online on eBay. This is the actual Super Nintendo and it's been sitting in my parents' basement for over 20 years, and I just discovered it this summer. So we're gonna check it out. Am I expecting it to work? Yes, fully. These things are built like tanks. I don't actually know how a tank is built, but that's just like a simile. So unless you purposely try to damage one of these, odds are it's still working fine if you have it just sitting around. Let's talk about my setup and what I have. What do I have to try it out? I have one of the original controllers. I have the original power supply. I don't have any kind of AV connector. Originally when I had this system set up back in the day, I had an RF switcher, which would have been a coax connection to the back of an old tube TV, and you would have had to turn on channel three or four, and that's just the way things worked back then. Kids today probably won't even know what I'm talking about. A simpler way is to use the multi-out connection on the back. So I didn't have the cables, I looked online. I'll have affiliate links in the description below if you wanna check it out. It's just an AV cable. It's got your red, white, and yellow. Red and white are the audio, yellow is the video connection. And so the next issue I faced is my TV is too recent. It doesn't have RCA connections. The oldest connection it has is component, which is the red, green, blue. Luckily I have a receiver, I've got a Pioneer receiver that does have all the old connections. So we're gonna plug into that and then it's got HDMI out into my TV. So let's plug it all in and see how it goes. All right, if this next part doesn't work, then we're toast. So we're gonna check the power connection. I should have maybe mention that before. Plug in the uh, original AC adapter. The power button's on the top. It's one of these purple switches. Click, we're good. Power is on. Red means good, you know. Plug in the controller, and then here's the AV connectors, the multi-out that's going out. And I'll save you the boredom of showing how that I plug that into the receiver. It's not really very exciting. On my TV, no, sorry, this is actually on the receiver. I have to uh, select the output, so here we go. There we go, success. I did not expect it to not work. I honestly thought it would work, but how it would look on this TV, that, that's another question. I've never played this game in such a large format. I, I remember as a kid thinking a 27 inch screen was huge and uh, you know what, this is too small. Let's uh, let's upgrade this a little bit. Let's, we can, we can do better than this. Here we go. There we go, exactly what I expected. Everything worked fine. I never expected to see such a low resolution game on a giant screen like this. When I used to play this back in the 90s, it was on a 13 inch color TV. A 20 inch or 27 inch was considered massive. Now we're talking like 100 inch. So I'm happy to see it's up and running. If you're interested in getting the same cables, check out the affiliate link below. Also check out my Squarespace affiliate link like I mentioned. Check out my blogs. Right, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.